Welcome back to Island Dreams, the FM save they said could not be done and they were probably right but we've given ourselves a chance after that win against Macau in the first game. We've never been in such a good position. We've got Guam today, we're in the tunnel before the game, the stadium is packed, dozens of people have flocked from the islands over to Ulaanbaatar after that win against Macau because they know that if we can beat Guam today, we are in with a good chance of securing that fourth game. OK, just before we get out there for the game, let's head back to the tunnel and check out the standings after a game each. After we played our game against Macau, Mongolia went into battle against Guam and they made pretty light work of them. They beat them 3-1. That leaves them top of the table. We're equal on points. We're equal on goal difference. They're ahead on goal scored. So... We have got to go out there and beat Guam today. We're expecting Mongolia to beat Macau as well in the game later on this evening. So we really need a win. We could not have performed an awful lot better in that first game against Macau. And I think we know what that means. We've got a very good chance of lousing it all up today. We're going to stick with that formation. The world has been questioning it. Two left wingers, three wide players in a system. We're going to go with it because it suits Tekapua. And you saw him score a free kick from 50 yards out against Macau. So why wouldn't we go with the same system today? We are just going to make one little tweak to it. Uh, we've got Sloop John B still carrying a knock. You've got to remember we only played Macau 48 hours ago. That's how they do it in Southeast Asia. They play three games in five days. So we're bringing in Big D. He's not scored in over a year for the national team, but hopefully today he's going to be the man that we can trust. He's got pedigree. He is the island's all-time leading scorer. So hopefully he can lead the line for us today. We scored 10 goals against Guam in the last two meetings. I've just got a horrible feeling of foreboding about today's game. Let's get into it. We're going to send the boys out. We're really interested in what that Mongolia Macau result is going to be later on today as well. If that could be a draw and we could beat Guam, we're in pole position going into that Mongolia game. It will be ours to throw away and we surely will throw it away. OK, let's send the boys out there for the team talk. Let's get ready for those national anthems. This game is big. They are playing a full Christmas tree formation, 4-3-2-1. Don't like the look of this guy up front finishing a 14 composure of 12. If he gets a chance, God, he's surely going to tuck it away. Hey, his physicals have absolutely fallen off the edge of the cliff. Oh, he's 36 years old now. Surely Delagaza's last tournament. They're the danger men for them. Well, who's our danger men? Who else? Nathan Tekapua. God. This boy put in a heck of a performance against Macau. We need another one out of him today. You've got to remember, two years ago against Guam, when we beat them 5-1, Tekapua was electric and then did not turn up for the other two qualifiers in the tournament. So we need another big game for him today. We're going to say we're favourites for a reason. We'll just go out there and no, we're favourites for a reason. That's not really worked. Okay, let's go by position then. We've only G'd up one of the defence, three of the midfield. Can we get Big D firing? We can. He's motivated. Okay, into the tunnel, storming past the journalists. Out for those national anthems. God, oh, the boys hear the music blaring out. Catherine Jenkins is singing the songs. And we're underway. We are off. Guam playing in there. Well, I don't know what they're playing in. Is it red? Is it blue? It's blue today with a bit of red. OK, they're on the attack. Goodness me. After that first result, don't let us lose against Guam. God, they've sent an early warning shot. 13th minute. Arky just sees it over. Look at them. Three shots, one on target. Look at the possession. Goodness me, this is not a start that we were after. OK, an early demand more. Boys, you need to rouse yourselves. Very rarely do the Northern Mariana put in back-to-back -back performances. And we are getting absolutely nothing from the boys. 
as feared. Are we struggling against their five-man central midfield? Maybe we are. That was absolutely terrible. What can we do to try and have a greater impact on proceedings? Tekapua is not working out there. Can we bring him inside? Doesn't like playing there quite as much. Can we get him doing some playmaking? Um, let's step up the defensive line a little bit, see whether that helps us. God, that was a poor, poor first half. God, and Guama coming at us again. Here they go. They've got control of the ball. We're not closing down. They've launched it long. Okay, we've got it. Who have we got? General Lucio. Skip past your man. He's got it in. Juanito. Oh, you fired it straight at the opposition. And we've got a gaping hole in the middle. Go to him, someone. Oh, no. It's the danger man. Oh, Archie Brostrom has got a hand to it. And he's palmed it into his own net. Not against Guam. It's Della Garza. We mocked his physicals, but the quality's there. Up from right back. Oh, Archie Brostrom. What are you doing like a mime artist back there? Oh, dear. We're going to have to go attacking. We're going to have to get into the tactics. And we are going to have to make some changes. So Tekapua is having an absolute terrible game. We're going to have to move him back over here. Let's get him back on his inverted winger. That's the only thing he can do. And we are going to have to make some changes at the back as well. Norm Reluccio is playing terribly. Juanito's going to go back there as an attacking wing back. And we're going to hook Norman Reluccio off. And we are going to bring on Kirky Thosset Belcher. Okay, we're going to do it. It's going to get us two up top. We cannot afford to lose this game. Cannot afford. What else can we do with the tactics? Let's go wider. Get the tempo up. Let's counter press on them as well. What an absolute abject performance. Abject. Okay, goal down. Goal down. A lot of work to do. Come on, boys. Already we're going to Demand Moore. Oh, we had a corner and that's come to nothing. Demand Moore ruined the highlight. Tekapu is playing awful. Relucho is playing awful. Manny Aniana, 6.3, his standard rating. Boys, you're not doing anything. You're not attacking at all. Their midfield is nullifying us. Okay, we're going with an extra wing back. Get up there. What else have we got that we can bring on? We're going to take Relucho off and we're going to bring Bogdan on. And we're going with a front, a front three. Going to go with a front three. We're going to go with an advanced forward out there. See if Thosset Belcher can just drop into that 10 position. This, this is absolutely horrid. He's coming back over. Coming back over. Attacking playmaker. Not sure. Really not sure. Long throw. Juanito. Oh, they've got the ball. Oh, he's in acres of space. I think that comes from having a two-man defence. Oh, they're running at us as well. Lizama. They've got men over. It's that Delegaza again. Arky's made up for it. That's a good save. He's pushed it over the bar. Goodness me, we're looking at taking a point from this game now. This is Guam. We've beat them 10-4 over the last two fixtures on aggregate. And we're going down to a 1-0 defeat. This is awful. Boys. Okay, we've said get creative. We've got another highlight. It doesn't look like it's for us. It's Guam again. There's not enough closing down. God, oh, Kirky, he's run over your shoulder. Get stuck in. Okay, she's cleared it. Here we go. Sloop John. Dave. Tekapua. Oh, he's created. Is he on side? Is he on side? Oh, Sloop John B is carrying a knock. Doesn't matter. Tekapua. Oh, he's the artist. Oh, he's painting masterpieces there. Look at this. 
Oh, he has dinked one through, bogged down on the chest, slashes it into the corner. We're back in this. We're keeping attacking. We need a win. Ten minutes. Come on, boys. Ten minutes. Oh, their manager said something that's upset them. Let's get creative again. Come on. Get forward. Oh, okay. We've got one more highlight. We've got a lot of injury time. Let's have a winner on this. Come on. Virtually everybody in our team is over six foot nine. So come on. Oh, no. They've gone out wide. Here we go. Oh, we've got an overlap. It's Sloop. It's Sloop. Oh, he's clipped the post. Get on it, Juanito. Get on it. It's in. It's in. Oh, it's easy for the keeper. Oh, Sloop John's hit the post. We're going again. We're going again. Winners. Winners, Juanito. It's gone long. It's gone long. Chase it down, Big D. They've gone over our back line. Oh, it's Big Loney. Six foot six. We know what he's made out of. We're not playing with a lot of urgency, boys. Come on, we won the winner. Got three up front. Got no defenders. Come on. Come on, Juanito. Stabs it forward. Big D. He slung it in. He slung it in. Oh, it's a wasted effort. Sloop John has looked dangerous. We're going to... Oh, we're going to have to make do with a point. We're going to have to make do with a point. Look at those match stats. What did we end up with? Same shots on target as them. We came back to just edge the possession, but... That really wasn't good. That really was not very good. That simply put was not good enough. And now we're at the mercy of Macau versus well, versus Mongolia. I think the assistant can face the press for that one. I don't want to be fielding those questions. Let's see how Mongolia get on. It's a nil-nil draw. That gives us every chance. That does give us every chance. Okay. How's that leaving the tables looking? Mongolia still out there on top. Four points apiece. We've got the same goal difference now. Got the same goal scored. That is tighter than a Ducks back side going into the final games. Are we going into the final game with confidence? No, not after that abject showing against Guam. Are we going into the final game with the same tactic? I'm really not sure after that performance against Guam. Can we move Tekapu over to the number 10? Because let's be honest, he didn't put in a set piece the entire game. But did you see the craftsmanship with the assist for the goal? Are we bringing back Sloop John? Are we going to try and play three up front? All questions that we have got a week to answer because we are going to go into that Mongolia game and I don't think we've ever had a better shot at qualifying. It really is now or never for the Northern Mariana Islands. Join us next weekend because we're going to be living out some more island dreams and trying to qualify for that fourth game.